So we're going to look in depth at the assignment uh, statements. We've seen these already, but we're going to talk a little bit more about them now. Make sure we fully understand them. So assignment statement is when we assign a variable a value, and we say things like num apples equals 8. And this will store the value of 8 in num apples. Now this is not an equal sign. Uh, it's an assignment statement, even though you might think of this. It's not a mathematical expression here. You know, this is equal to that. It's an assignment. We're and so we on the left side always has to be a single variable name. So a single variable name on the left, then the equal sign, and then a more complicated expression can be on the right. Uh, it can be just a single number like this or or an expression. So again, it always has to be this for a variable name, the equals, and then an expression. Let me clear this out a little bit. So let's look at some examples. Uh, here's a program we'd like you to just look through. Uh, we're tracking the number of mice and how mice uh, grow in population. So again, we see this before, integer, the variable, and then an equal. So sometimes we combine the assignment and initialization with the variable declaration, although we often do it separate too. So here we say litter size equals 14. Now here they have some space here to line up the equals. That's not necessary. Uh, you can just say litter size equals 14. The spacing is not important in these statements. Now here's a more complicated expression. Again, a single variable, an assignment, and then an expression. And here we're using uh, this symbol for multiplication. So we're taking the litter size times the yearly litters. Uh, so again, uh, walk through these exercises. Uh, you can trace some different variables. So here we do some assignments and some uh, some initializations and then some assignments just to see if you can follow through this. Again, we're always starting at the top and going down. So see if you can uh, follow through these sorts of routines. Hopefully you've seen these sorts of routines now where I can uh, check, select the correct value of x, y, and z at each point. Uh, so I've gone through this much of the statement. X starts out equal to 9, Y starts as 8, uh, Z starts at 4, but then Y is reset to 8. So then I can check, and I've got that correct, and I go down to the next. So keep doing this and get all your checks done. Uh, again, same here. Uh, we're going to do some assignment variables. Uh, that we're going to work on here. So fill in these, check your results, see if you can uh, work on these different expressions. Uh, that we need. So like I mentioned before, the equal sign is, we read, is assigned a value, is an assignment variable, not necessarily equals. And that's why we can only have a single variable on the left-hand side. We can't have an expression on the left-hand side. Now, there are some other operations that we'll see uh, that we do a lot. One of the things we do is often add one to a variable. And this is a good example of why these aren't equal. We'll say like number of items equals number of items plus one. So if this were an equal sign, this wouldn't be true. But this is an assignment. And so what we do is we always compute the right side of the expression. And then we assign that to the left side, the variable on the left side. So again, we do the, the right side first, figure that out, and then assign that to the left side. So something like this certainly makes sense. It takes the number of items we have, adds one to it, and assigns that new value to the old number of items var uh, value. So if number of items is five, we add one to it, it's six. So now a number of items will be six. And so we do this a lot. And so in fact, we'll see shortcuts to this because it's such a frequent statement in computing. So this is another uh, simple program that you can just run through the simulation to look at how variables work. It keeps track of how many friends and friends of friends you might know. Uh, like s there's a couple social uh, media outlets like uh, LinkedIn, which is good for establishing professional connections. And then you can see not only your uh, connections, but people you're connected to. So the idea is on LinkedIn or some other network like this, uh, you have so many people you're connected to. And what LinkedIn's nice at is you can not only see your connections, but their connections. It's a good way, like if I, if you are connected to someone and trying to find a job at some location, uh, you can find out who's working at that uh, location. Um, so for example, if I wanted to 
you wanted to find someone working at Apple, you can type in Apple here and see who I know that's working at uh, Apple and how many connections away they are. And so this does something, sim a simple version of that, where you enter the number of friends and then it tries to compound those friends and those friends' friends. Uh, so you can run through this simulation. Uh, pay attention to, you know, again, our assignment variables, we do these total friends is equal to total friends times your friends. So if you know, uh, it, it asks you how many friends you have, and if you know uh, 200 people, uh, and it says sets total friends to that. But later on, it'll say total friends times your friends. So it'll take your 200 times another 200 uh, here and print that out. Uh, so you can walk that simulation. Uh, and then we do a couple exercises again where we have the same variable name on the left and right side. Uh, and again, remember, it just evaluates the right side first and then assigns that to the left side. So just walk through these exercises to make sure you're uh, clear and remembering that concept. And then again, we go through here and we try to figure out uh, the values of z after all this. So we go through and just, just test out. Uh, so we're working with pluses, minuses, multiplication uh, and, uh, here. So we give a couple challenge activities here for you to run. Three of them you can run through. So again, you can walk through these challenge activities. Um, and again, they start out relatively simple. Here we're just going to assign hours left to three, and they get a little more uh, complicated. But I think the, it's uh, stuff you should be able to work through relatively easily. So that wraps up our assignment variables, uh, at least for integers. Now we're going to look at uh, next. We're going to look at some more complicated expressions with integers.